I'm here to share some important information to help you prepare for the birth of your baby. By now, you may be making decisions about how you will feed your baby. There are steps you can take to help ensure that you have a successful breastfeeding experience. Be sure to discuss your feeding choice with your provider. Your provider can discuss any concerns you may have about your ability to breastfeed your baby. You can also contact the lactation department at the hospital prior to the birth of your baby. Breastfeeding frequently is an important part of making enough milk. Typically, babies should eat at least 8 to 12 times a day in the first months of life. Feed your baby whenever your baby shows signs of being hungry. Your baby will show you they are hungry by rooting, sucking on fingers or hands, and turning their head from side to side. Fussing and crying are late signs of hunger, so you don't need to wait. The practice of feeding your baby when he or she shows signs of hunger is called feeding on demand. It helps your baby be more content and get the right amount of milk. It also helps prevent breastfeeding complications like plugged milk ducts and helps you have a good milk supply. Breastfed babies should typically only be given formula if there is a medical reason to do so. Supplementing breastfeeding with formula can interfere with breastfeeding by making it harder to breastfeed your baby and lowering your milk supply. It can also increase the risk of allergies, asthma, eczema, and sudden infant death syndrome. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that you exclusively breastfeed your baby for at least six months before introducing other foods or cereals. Breastfeeding can continue after six months for as long as you and baby wish. It's also recommended to avoid using artificial nipples like pacifiers and bottle nipples until breastfeeding is well established, usually two to four weeks. This will help you and baby learn to breastfeed. Sucking at the breast is different than sucking on an artificial nipple, and for some babies, this can cause problems with latch on and sucking, which can decrease milk supply or cause nipple soreness. In the first weeks, it is important to breastfeed frequently and every time your baby shows signs of hunger. Pacifiers can hide hunger cues, which may cause slow weight gain in the baby or decrease your milk supply. It's also very important to position your baby correctly for breastfeeding. There are a variety of comfortable positions to breastfeed your baby, including the cradle hold, cross cradle, football hold, and sideline position. To ensure that baby is getting enough milk and to prevent nipple pain, it's important to position and latch your baby correctly. Hospital staff will be available throughout your stay after delivery to assist you with breastfeeding and the care of your baby. Prenatal breastfeeding classes may be available at the hospital or your WIC office. Thank you for your time today. Please review the materials you may have received from your provider's office carefully, and don't forget to ask your provider any questions you may have during today's appointment.